Hey there Frippikers! I bet you've come across transitions like this before, right? Well, today, we've got something super exciting for you. We're going to walk you through how to work your magic and recreate that slick masking transition using Adobe Premiere Pro. Masking can level up your video skills. So, let's dive right into it. First things first, grab two clips from Freepik or use your own footage. Make sure that at least one of them has your subject or object fully framed from top to bottom of your screen. Check out this awesome clip for reference. Oh, and remember, it's crucial that both clips are shot in the same direction to make that transition buttery smooth. Now, import your clips into Premiere Pro and toss them onto your timeline. Quick tip, if you need to tweak the scale of your clips to better fit the frame, go for it. But be careful with the zoom, you don't want to lose video quality. Next, take that first clip and use the razor tool to cut it like a pro, slicing it right when your full frame object hits the screen's edge. Now, pop that other clip in right when your full frame object starts appearing on the screen. Like this. Time for the fun part, masking. Select your clip, head to Effect Controls, Opacity section, and click on the Pen tool. Start drawing your mask, and remember, simplicity is key. Fewer points mean a smother masking process. Don't forget to toggle all those mask keyframes, so the program saves any adjustments you make. And make sure to check that inverted box. To give your mask those nice soft edges, crank up the mask feather value to around 30. Now, take your sweet time to move that mask along with your clips movement. If you need to, add more points. No need to rush this part. Once you're done, give your mask placement a good once over. If it needs a bit of fine tuning, go ahead and tweak it. Your transition should be looking slick. Now, let's crank up the coolness factor. Add a sound effect to your timeline. Import it and place it right when your transition kicks in. And boom. You've just cooked up a flawless masking transition. Remember to experiment with different clips and camera movements to spice up your video portfolio. So, it's goodbye for now, but we'll be back with more cool tutorials. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos.